that mayor I've heard so many rumors about, even though it's my first day, that she was too shipped from Egypt, and that everyone says that she's a princess. With her floating pink halter, I can't even see her face, or anything else in that matter. Even though if I can't see her, does not mean. What am I saying? Are you talking to yourself? Um. Huh? What? Please don't think I have startled you. As for my name, Miss Fizzy, I am too an Egyptian pony. I am, well, a princess of slave ponies, for the kids at least. You were too from Egypt? Yes. Would you like to hear my story? Actually, I kind of would. Can you tell me? Yes, I would love to. Well, it all started after I was <laughs> hurt in one of the accidents of, you know, being used to pull a cart of many materials that we never needed. What do you mean, never needed? Just hush and listen. <sighs> Sorry. Let's get on with the story. As I was saying, as I was pulling this so-called cart of materials that we've, that we didn't need, I had an accident as a horse was fighting with an Egyptian man who had a whip as he kicked him and kicked me as well as I was aside of him. Who was this man? man or the horse? Both. The horse's name was upon a wish, as if he had a wish upon me, for that is the reason why he has done what he has done. Wow. And the human, I I'm not even sure what his name was. I think his name was Polly. <laughs> Polly. Or something like that. Poker or Polly. I know a Polly. He was once my owner. As he is one of the prince's slave. That's why they have found me. And that's why I am a prince of horses. That is what you have in common with this new horse here. Everyone's calling her the floating phantom or something. These rumors, they're all lies, aren't they? What do you mean by these rumors? People don't believe that she is a princess. A princess of Egyptian horses from the east side or the west, I'm not sure. I think you have a story about your life that you need to tell. Actually, I do. May I please hear? Yes. As I saw this so-called pink phantom once, it, it was just like a dream. I didn't know what was going on. I thought everything I knew, everything I've ever done in my life, was just a huge dream. As I was about to wake up from a sleep, from a sleep that it's been many years as if I was a human in a py pyramid. 
Talking mummy, as they call him. But that's not the case. It was real. I saw her. She had beautiful crystal blue eyes. It was rare. Rare for me. I was amazed of everything I saw by her. As she did have an Egyptian halter, much like the one she's wearing now. But then I became a slave horse after. I have a feeling that after something bad has gone wrong. Yes, yes, something has. I had a father named Sado. It's okay. You can tell me. Sato promises. Sato promises. Yes. He was killed by a thief. He was a guard of the gold, as if a human was riding him, a guard. Horse was a human. He didn't know what to do. I was just eight months then. My mother didn't want me to leave her sight until I was one. But after that happened, I've never saw my father give such heart to save his human. As he died, disgrace went on my family. I'm a prince of slaves. Slaves. Humans, as well as horses, who have been killed and slaughtered every day. When I became weak, they didn't want to kill me as if I was in pain. But they just sold me. And that's where I have came here. And this place is wonderful. I have food that I love and I enjoy it, rather than eating dirt and rocks. I'm still di trying to di digest my life into this. I'm very sorry about your loss. Yes. But that was when I was talking to her. After that, it's like I just passed out. I, I totally forgot what she looked like. And if she saw me now, I wonder if she remembers what like as well. It feels like when that happened, all the horses were taken out. Like put to sleep or something. Not death, but enough to steal all the gold. When I was gone as well, they thought I was a working thief, working for a thief. And that was why I was put in the second reason why I was put into slavery. I need to tell you something about me. Even though my name is Fizzy here, I am a very wise pony, as my name is Riddle. All my riddles come true. I don't know the future. I can make the future how it is with my riddle. It's hard to describe. I know. I know what you mean. Why, I'm going to make you a riddle. I just want you to feel happy. For your loss, everything that has happened to you, you must know that with the god of horses has something planned. And if it's if he sent me down here just for you, as if I've only used a riddle once and I have regretted it. But for this, this is a real riddle I must make, and that must come true. It's okay, you don't need to. Life is just going to have to go on how it is. Trust me. 
let me see this riddle. 